In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the VB6 web browser control behave properly and show websites properly. If you program with Visual Basic 6, VB6, the web browser control is shit. It, you know, websites look like crap. They don't display properly. They don't behave properly. And it's because supposedly for security reasons, the um, default web browser or Internet Explorer object that's used in that control is Internet Explorer 7, which is like decades old. And I'm going to show you a simple trick that you can use to make the web browser control behave properly. The left hand side here is the web browser control default. This is the uh, one that I've tweaked in such a way to make websites display properly, and I'll show you some examples. Weather.com, you know, here's your junk web browser control, the way it looks. And here is the way the website's supposed to look. Another example, that versus this. <laughs> you know, it, the web browser control sucks by default, and all Visual Basic programmers hate the web browser control that's included with VB6. And here's what it's supposed to look like. And I'll just show you a couple of more examples. Entire sections of websites aren't even displayed in the default web browser control. You know, this site really comes in screwed up looking. Not even close. This is what it's supposed to look like. And what's great about this, too, is the way uh, it's set up is when you view the source code, it's set up so that double spaces, tabs are removed, the code is compact, all kinds of extra spaces are removed. So when you want to program the HTML code behind the web browser, it's so much easier and better than it was before. And... To see how to do this, look in the description of this video. If you don't see the instructions there, well, then it means this video was just recently uploaded and the uh, description has not been completed yet. So just check back in a couple of days. You're going to have full step-by-step -step instructions. You don't have to use any class or ActiveX control with the web browser to control to produce this result. And again, a big difference is the web source or the HTML source, by default, it looks like this, broken up, scattered, extra spaces, tab. So when you want to manipulate the HTML code behind it, it makes it more difficult. You got to implement all kinds of code to make the HTML code lowercase, remove extra spaces, blah, blah, blah. And the HTML code behind this version is compact, clean, easy to use, easy to program.